I geo-referenced a scanned historical Sanborn map in ArcGIS Desktop, or ArcMap. Then, I served that map in ArcGIS Online. Now, we are ready to create an ArcGIS Online map from it, and a Swipe Web Mapping Application, or Story Map, from the map. So I'm going to go into my tile layer and I'm going to add it to a new map. I don't have a map created, so if I want people to look at it in a map, I'm going to have to create a map and save it. And there's my map. You can see that I can do a couple of things here. I can make this transparent, just like we were doing in Arc GIS Desktop. But of course, now I've got the capability of adding all kinds of layers from ArcGIS Online to this. And I can also share this with people. And I can also make web mapping applications, as we'll do at the end of this particular demonstration video. That is wonderful. That didn't take long to serve up that data into ArcGIS Online. And now again, I've got lots of advantages. I can change the base map, certainly, to let's just look at imagery. For example, so we can see what we're dealing with. Again, this is a 1922 Sanborn historical map for a section of State College, Pennsylvania. I'm going to adjust the transparency so I can compare those university buildings and how they've expanded uh, over time, and also some other buildings near the center of State College. I'm going to add some metadata to my saved map so other people as well as myself can find this and then I can share this map with different folks so now you'll be able to find this map online as well let's do one more thing before this demonstration is done and that is let's go ahead and create a web app so if I go into share and create a web app ooh, this is going to be great how about a swipe let's create a swipe web app web mapping application. I'm going to search for swipe. I'm going to say, ooh, story map, swipe, and spyglass. Create that web app, please. I'm going to give it some metadata here, title, tags, a summary. Title it swipe app, just so I'll be able to find it more easily. All right, done. What kind of swipe do I want? I want a vertical bar type of swipe. I can adjust these titles if I want to and enable or disable the uh, legend and scale bar and some other things there. I can do some aesthetic adjustments as well, color, fonts, things like that. And look, now I've got a swipe story map web mapping application where I can really uh, use these swipe tools effectively. It's kind of like a, a vertical uh, sort of squeegee, as you can see there. And I can swipe it back and forth, seeing the changes, and sometimes no change uh, from 1922 to the present or the latest satellite image date. Very nice. So that's a web mapping application that I just created. Again, I added my tile layer to ArcGIS Online. I saved the web map. And then I've just, in the last minute, created a web mapping application. In this case, a swipe map so I could compare historical versus current. So let's take a look at my content. I've got a couple of things in there. I've got the original web map. That's what this is. The web map showing my geo-referenced image from Sanborn Maps, 1922 for a section of State College, Pennsylvania. I have a web mapping application, which is my swipe story map, web mapping application or web app, which looks like this with the vertical bar that I can swipe across my data. Excellent. So I've got the web map, the web mapping application, I've got a tile layer in there, I've got a service definition, all in ArcGIS Online and I serve that up from ArcMap where I originally geo-referenced the Sanborn map to known coordinates. It was scanned and un-geo-referenced. Now it's geo-referenced. I've got it on my local computer, but in this demonstration video, I've served it up into ArcGIS Online. Thanks. I hope that was helpful.